you are about to see a god mode camo slash xp glitch as you can see in the video the zombies are not going for me they're piling up right in front of me they can't kill me and i can just take them out get as many camos as i want as much xp as i want and i can just go through as many waves as i want if you didn't know cold war is still a free game for playstation users literally all you need is playstation plus download it and do this god mode xp glitch to get your camos xp all that good stuff and a lot of you guys were struggling with the phd slider glitches and this one right here does not need phd slider so just to show you that this isn't like an old video and i'm just going to press the playstation home button and you're going to see i have mw2 downloaded so as you can see no old video so with this crazy glitch you want to go into your skills and make sure quick revive is at tier 5 then you need to go into your skills go into weapons go to melee and make sure the melee is at tier 5 as well because that will give you health when you melee which that is what you need in order to do this glitch now if you don't have tier 5 and you need a glitch to help you with that check out the video that is on the screen there is a glitch in that video that will allow you to get easier ethereum crystals i'll explain that in that video so yeah check it out and then come back to this video once you have tier 5 now you want to head into private match then go to onslaught then click onslaught containment now this is available for everybody including xbox pc and ps but when you are in the containment playlist you want to look for for a map with a warning barrier. Now I choose Nuketown, but you can choose the subway map, the U-Bahn map, and if you know any other map has that warning barrier, like I said, you can choose it. If you don't get a map where you can walk out of the map with a time barrier, just go right ahead and leave the game and then try again by just loading back up into private match on slot containment. You guys will get a different map and you just keep on loading in and then backing out until you get Nuketown or U-Bahn. So once you guys are done getting either of those maps, you then want to play through the game you will see at every two to three rounds you're gonna get a boss zombie round and when you kill that boss zombie you will get a perk drop you want to get quick revive now this right here is gonna be completely rng based but luckily i got quick revive first you may get it you know on your third try second try just keep trying then when you get that quick revive you need to get another perk so you want to survive until another boss round to get a second perk doesn't matter what that second perk is you just need it now now, when you have that done here is all you do you want to make sure that you are on another boss zombie round and it needs to be a mimic round now you want to go to where the warning barrier is you are going to be having your character get down then you want to make sure that you're in the warning barrier when your character is in the down state you cannot be in a alive state now in Uban, you can get down outside the warning barrier then crawl into the warning barrier with this map right here you need to make Make sure that you get down before the warning barrier hits zero then when you are down you need to be in the warning barrier and the warning barrier has to hit you at zero once you have done that you want to go back into the map if you are on nuketown you're gonna have to you know wiggle back and forth until you fall off of the ledge then when you're in the map you want to go to the orb which should have the mimic and the two zombies you want to go right ahead and melee the zombie that will make it so you will get your health back then you want to get hit by the zombie be at least once or twice then have the mimic grab you and then pull you in you want to make sure the mimic pulls you in and he brings you down to zero health so just like right here as you can see i meleeed the zombie i got hit a few times then i got pulled into the mimic and that hit me at zero health i didn't have a zombie hit me at zero health the pull in animation of the mimic hit me at zero health so hopefully everything makes sense if you're confused at any point please ask me down below i will help you out now what you need to do next for the last step is you want to melee a few zombies while you're meleeing the zombies, you want to hold down the reload button. So that's going to be square for PlayStation. Then what will happen is you will see that you're literally just going to get revived. Now that might take a few attempts, but just keep on meleeing, keep on holding down that reload button, and you guys should get it. Now, once you guys are done getting revived, you're going to see you're in God mode. All the zombies are going to pile up right in front of you and not kill you. You can't die in this glitch. You're going to be able to sit back, relax, get those headshots, get those camo challenges is done and get a ton of xp now if you guys are wondering how do i pack a punch in this mode all you do is you kill the boss zombies they are going to drop items that let you pack punch now like i said this is op as you can see i'm getting camos on my screen and you can get your dark ether super easily with this glitch this one you don't need phd slider you don't need any timing you just simply do this really not hard that is going to be about it for this video on this awesome glitch shout out to the founders which are going to be down below in the description i forgot who found this but i will find it and if you are 
wondering, well, how do I get out of this glitch? All you do is you want to go to the warning barrier and get hit by the warning barrier again. That is going to bring you out of the glitch and the zombies will chase you again. So yeah, there's that. Now that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in my newest video. Peace out.